AmazonSale.com here for a cooler locks and how to lock your cooler to a truck bed video. And we're going to be doing an install video today. You go out, you spend a couple hundred dollars on your favorite roto molded cooler, you throw it in the back of your truck, you go to Walmart, Home Depot, wherever it is, and you come back out and your cooler's missing. It happens far too often, so we got to protect against that. Fortunately, we have multiple ways to do that. We have a full write-up of all the different locks for coolers on CoolersOnSale.com. I'll link to that in the description below. But for today, we are are going to be installing one of our favorite systems. This is the Deny Lock. It's uh, different than a cable lock, which would just run through a cleat. This actually secures to your truck bed, your UTV, your four-wheeler, wherever you're going to be keeping your uh, cooler. And not only does it lock it to the truck bed, it keeps it from sliding around. Because this is going to be mounted to the truck bed, the uh, cooler cannot slide forward and backwards or side to side. So it kills two birds with one stone. Not only does it lock it to the truck bed, it actually restrains your cooler as well. So it's one of our favorites. Today we are going to be installing this on an Orca 58. This is one of our favorite coolers. It's one of our best coolers that we've tested. Without further ado, let's jump into the install of the Deny Lock on the Orca 58. So first up, let's take a look on this thing and, and show you how this, how this locking mechanism works. Like I mentioned, this has uh, keys. It comes with keys and you have a lock here. So we'll go ahead and unlock it and it's just a metal rod. And so the metal rod goes into the side of the cooler over here. All, a lot of these high-end roto-molded coolers have this little slit on the side. This is for a locking bracket. So the bracket slides down and then would come into this base. So the base is actually going to be mounted to your truck, your UTV, your golf cart, etc. You take the key out, you push the button in and it's locked. So it's nice to be, just go ahead and throw this on your keychain and uh, and your cooler is, is essentially locked. You don't need it to lock it. So once it's unlocked, you can, you can remove it no problem. But how do you get this to your truck? truck bed, how to align this, how do you do all this thing? So we're going to go ahead and show you that today. I actually have a board in the back of my truck because I'm getting ready to trade this truck in so I don't want to drill any holes. But normally you would drill a hole right in the truck bed and I've already marked on the board where I want it because it's going to butt up against the side of my truck bed and here will be the locking mechanism so that the cooler can't slide around at all. Once I put it in there, we're good to go. When you get your lock, it's going to be based on what cooler you have. Is it a Yeti 45? Is it an Engel 50? Is it an Orca 58? Whatever it is, it's going to uh, depend on how long that brace is. So make sure you're ordering the right block when you when you actually order it. Uh, in our case, I've read the instructions and we need a drill here. This is a 3 8 bit and we also need a 3 quarters driver or a wrench to uh, to go ahead and tighten that bolt up on the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and draw, uh, drill a hole, which will be the 3 8 bit, which is the same size as this bolt in the bottom of the lock. And then we'll tighten it up with that uh, 3 quarter inch uh, driver or uh, a wrench. So uh, like I said, I've already marked the spot here. Uh, this instructions recommends using a magic marker. I just scored this little piece of wood. That's where I'm going to actually drill. And I'll show you where we're going to mount this thing. And then I'll show you how this butts up against the side of my cooler so that the uh, the cooler is actually not sliding around. So let me go ahead and pull this board out. Again, the only reason I'm using the board and not my actual truck is because I'm getting ready to trade this in for a, a new diesel in, in the next week. So I don't want to drill any holes in this. Uh, I will mount this in my new truck once, uh, once I get that. Um, so I've already marked this. Like I said, this is a 3 8 3 8 bit here that, and you're just going to drill a hole. Normally this would be in your, uh, in your truck bed, on your UTV, on your golf cart, whatever. Go ahead and drill this out. Okay. So we're completely through. And uh, again, if this was on your truck bed, you'd climb up under the truck and, uh, and tighten that bolt. So we'll go ahead and drop this through. I'm going to slide it off the edge of the truck so that you can see how much goes through it. A little word to the wise, if you guys have a um, bed liner like I do, drill in the, uh, in the actual channel here. Don't come on the top because you're not going to have enough, enough bite. I'll show you on this board what I mean. So we'll go ahead and drop this through. Uh, we're going to have the lock pointing out towards us. So so once we put this uh, lock in the truck with the board in there, it's going to be facing out this way. And here's what I mean. There's not that much bite. So up under the truck, normally you would have this much of a bite. If you have one of those drop-in bed liners, make sure you're giving yourself enough room. We'll go ahead and screw up. Oh, we'll go ahead and uh, screw the bolt on. 
And again, this is a three quarter inch uh, driver or a wrench, whatever you have, and just tighten that down. We'll make this good and tight. All right. So normally this would be up under the truck bed. You'd be tightening this thing down up under your truck bed. We'll go ahead and slide this board back in so you can see that this fits in the truck perfectly. Let me go ahead and move this drill so we can put the, uh, the cooler up in there. And you'll see what I mean about how it butts up against the bed of the truck on one side and then the lock is going to keep it from moving the other side. So uh, that's how this works. It keeps it from shifting around the bed of your truck. You go around turns or whatever, uh, this will actually keep it from moving. So let me go ahead and throw this Orca 58 back up here. I'll take this rod out so you guys can see how that actually works. It's just a, a metal rod here and we'll put the cooler in butt it up against there and uh, again this is where your uh, cooler lock bracket would become so some of the cable locks for example use a little metal plate that drops through here and comes out here and you would run like a uh, I think master lock python lock through there or a chain or whatever you're gonna run through there this kind of solves all the problems by dropping this metal rod through here and come on the outside of that of that handle and get it in this hole here actually i need to there we go there we go okay so now i'm completely in that and uh, again it's just a push once it's unlocked you push to lock it now that cooler is secure you can see what i mean this thing is not is not going anywhere it's up against the bed of the truck i can still access my cooler if I want to lock the cooler, I can drop a uh, master lock or whatever kind of lock through this, uh, these holes on either side to keep people out of it, but yet I can still access my cooler if I want. It's bolted to the bed of my truck so no one can steal this, and the, the cooler is not going to slide around. I mean, it's, it's butted up against this side, and it's butted up against the, uh, the bed of my truck on the other side. So, uh, like I said, you can kind of kill two birds with one stone with this lock. Not only is it a lock it's actually a um, a tie down mechanism so these are great for uh, UTVs if you're gonna be hitting the trails in a side-by-side -side or even on the back of a golf cart uh, on top of a toolbox on your hunting truck or whatever it is you can secure your your cooler and it's not gonna slide around and no one's gonna walk off with it when you're uh, when you're in the grocery store all right that's a wrap of the install of the deny lock on an orca 58 cooler thanks for watching guys subscribe give us a thumbs up it's what helps us to keep going and we'll be back with more videos next time mm -hmm.